What is up everyone, Tay here from History Behind a Horror with a quick discussion video about Outlast 2. Now, I know a lot of people have been asking me, am I going to be doing Outlast 2 on the channel? Since I did Outlast 1, am I going to be doing the history behind the horror of Outlast 2? And the answer is yes, I'm going to be doing the history of the characters from this game. But there is a small issue that I want to discuss that... Well, it's just my opinion. A lot of people won't probably agree with what I have to say. But just remember that it's just an opinion. And if you do like the game, you like the game. And if you don't agree with me, it's fine. Everything's fine. You like what you like, I like what I like. You don't like what you don't like. And I don't like what I don't like. And let's just keep it on a mutual ground. Let's not attack each other over something um, so small. This is just an opinion. So I've downloaded Outlast 2 about four days after the game was released i was kind of slow to getting to jump on the game because i had other things like on on the channel to do i'm always constantly working on different projects and stuff but editing takes a long time so i work on multiple things to try to see if i can get them done and get a bunch of things done and be able to upload co consistently but uh things have been running a little slow as you see my last video was marguerite baker my last history video was marguerite baker but my last video was the outlast comic so my last history video has been about two weeks about a week to two weeks old now like i said i've been playing this game i've had this game since four days after its release i think it was what april 25th or 27th i can't remember which one it was released on but ever since it is now what the 14th or the 15th of may i can't remember uh, forgive me for that ever since i had this game i cannot i cannot get into outlast Two, like I did Outlast 1. There's something different with this game. And it's something that I don't like about Outlast 2. It's just... I'm going to be breaking it into like probably parts if I can. Not parts of videos, but parts in this video of the parts... The things that I don't really like about Outlast 2. We're going to start off with... Probably the biggest thing, I guess. There might There's not really too many parts in this video, but... Farmers... Um, the ones that attack you in this game, the, the main, I guess, antagonists, they're not the main antagonist, but they're like the ones that pretty much the, the, the grunts, the lackeys before the main people like Sullivan, his followers. It's a real issue, at least for me, I'm playing it on a normal difficulty because that's recommended. And I like playing it on normal difficulty, not easy because that's too easy and not hard because then I'll just get i'll just get destroyed by the ai but the ai in my opinion is somewhat broken because at least in my experience i don't know anybody else's experience but when i played this game i've hit it in grass before anyone could see me like i hit deep in grass because you can hide in tall grass and i get spotted from across the field and it kept happening and happening everywhere i go i get spotted hiding before anyone sees me a good example of this uh, for the ones who played the game, or at least seen your favorite YouTubers play the play the through, I'm sure a lot of y'all on this channel have watched somebody else or played it yourself. It's a part where you have to get the generator running. The very first one, I guess. I don't know if there's any more generators, but you got to put power to the generator, and then the farmers will run. The ones that you would hide in from to get to the generator will see Martha, and then they will run. They don't stay and see her before we see. Before she sees us or we see them. And that was, a, that was another issue too. Before I can get to the generator to like get it to, to work. I had to speed run it. Like run through farmers. Because for some reason they kept they kept seeing me when there was no one around. And I couldn't understand it. There's a woman. I'm going to get back to the main topic. But there's a woman that before you get to the generator she blocks your path. You got to get around her, right? She has a knife. A big blade in her hand. And she's quoting Bible scriptures from Sullivan. She, before I even get anywhere near her, she's like way out there, like way. She, you know, AI can't see that far because it's super far. She, she will see me, and then I don't know, like it's weird because she will see me, but nothing to happen, and then she will leave she won't even walk off by the time i walk around the house and get to that area she's gone and she's suddenly behind me and stabs me i don't know how that's a thing but i guess is how the game is but it wasn't really good it wasn't implemented good in my opinion for some reason and then when i get around her i run past the farmers because if she don't see me 
which is by look, the farmers will see me from far out and they start screaming. You know, the music start playing and then they quote their Bible scriptures and then they just chase you and kill you. And I die in like one hit, sometimes two hits on normal mode. It was that's another thing that's annoying. Dying in like one hit in normal difficulty. Some some people, some of these farmers will legit kill you in one hit. And that's a little annoying, but we're going to move on from there. What was my point? Um, getting spotted by the farmers. Martha. Martha ran after me after leaving the house. After you turn on the power from the generator and leave the house, I seen the farmer saying, Martha's here, Martha's here. And then they'll run up in the house. I will hop in a barrel. I just did it because I thought Martha's coming. So, of course, she's walking towards me, which wasn't even the case. You have to walk out there and then she'll walk out and chase you. Unless you can find a way to sneak around, which I haven't. I tried, but it never works for me. But when I first walked out of the the house with the generator in it, she will automatically the music will just start playing, and she will and she will kill me. The music started playing when I was up in the house. After I pulled the generator and I was still in the house, the music will play, and Martha would be outside right when I'm walking out. And it had to be a glitch because I looked it up with another YouTuber, a couple of them, a couple of different ones, and you have to go a certain distance, and then she chases you to the gen to the elevator, and then you can go up. See, and that's what kind of kills it for me because it's just farmers and Martha, farmers and Martha, farmers and Martha, farmers and Martha. And then another thing is it's too dark. Even when I turn up the gamma, it's just too dark. Some parts you don't know where to go. You're getting chased by farmers a lot. You get chased by farmers. That's my biggest gripe. You get chased by these farmers so much. It's run, 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 run. Farmer, farmer, run, run, Martha, Martha, run, run, farmer, farmer, run, darkness, darkness, where do I go, darkness, run, 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 and it's not fun, it's a difference like, for the ones who played Outlast 1, I'm sure a lot of y'all have played Outlast 1, if you playing Outlast 2, or at least seen it, Outlast 1 was a totally different kind of game, at least in my opinion, Outlast 1 was really good, it, it was something about not just the environment of being in a hospital, which is creepy, but there's a huge difference in characters, even as small as AI differences. The AI, let's start off with the AI. The AI compared to Outlast 2 AI seemed a little bit more legit and a little bit more non-broken on my copy of the game. They they would walk around knives. They got the little hospital uh things on wheelchairs, bodies sewed up, just the real horror of it. Um, real insane mental patients. But Outlast Two has just these. I don't know if they're possessed or not, but they seem like they're just normal village people that just follow Sullivan's words and just kill any outsider. And it seems like there's no backstory to them. Um, just to let y'all know, I haven't finished Outlast 2. That's that's the big thing, too. I have not finished Outlast 2. Um, let y'all know that. So, another thing is, Outlast 1's main antagonists, the enemies, the Eddies, the Traegers, Chris Walker, Father Martin, uh, Frank Manera, Jeremy Blair, and there was a, a, a couple other ones on there, too. I can't remember who they were. The Twins. And I can't remember those, those main antagonists, even small people like Pyromaniac. Those characters seem like they had such a deeper background than some of these. I haven't seen any main antagonists in Outlast 2 except for Martha and Sullivan. I don't know if there are any other antagonists in the game because I couldn't get that far because of the running, running, running darkness. Can't see farmers, farmers, Martha, Martha, Martha. And then the occasional Sullivan will pop up with his speech in the church. And then that was it. Outlast 1 was just really deep when it came to gameplay, whether it be hard difficulty, insane difficulty, nightmare mode, um, or easy. The game, the characters are always the same. The AI, the AI are the same. They, you have a, I have a connection with these characters like they are, they have a serious background, at least the, the mental patients, but even the antagonists. The antagonists have serious deep backgrounds. Chris Walker with his uh, used to be a officer in Afghanistan to Eddie being abused by his uncle and his father, I believe it was. And then he had, he got messed up. And then Billy, his aunt or his mom, I think it was his mom, I can't remember the comic, sold him to Murkoff for money and had experiments done on him for the wall rider and stuff like that. 
that's deep Traeger how he used to be a, a some kind of um, employee there but now he, he turned into some kind of crazy doctor to now cutting off Miles fingers and it was crazy stuff that game was really insane and I really loved it that's why I started this channel off with my first ever history around a horror episode was Chris Walker it was an outlast when I first decided to actually make this channel it was no deciding what character I was going to do first or what game I was going to start with first. I told myself straight up, I'm going to do Outlast. And we started off with Chris Walker. And then it went on from there. And I started doing all the characters from there because, like I said, they have a very interesting background. Some of the most interesting characters that I've seen in a horror game to date. I mean, you have your amnesia and you have that. But something's different about Outlast that makes it so great. And I love that game. And if... I mean, you like Outlast 2 or you think Outlast 2 is better than that's your opinion. It's fine. It's all it's, it's all good. I don't I'm not going to judge nobody about what they like and what they don't like. But in my opinion, Outlast 2 just does not live up to Outlast. It doesn't seem like an Outlast game to me. And I get confused. The story's confusing so far. I mean, you sometimes you you wake up you at a you in a farm and then you wake up in a school and then you back at the farm in a school in darkness farmers this and that and getting drugged by a giant tongue into a well and it was just it's such a strange game i'm not saying it's a bad game i'm not saying it's a bad game at all it's 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 not for everyone it's a good game and every i should, i recommend everybody check this game out if you haven't of course it's outlast but it's not Outlast. In my, like, I got to keep saying in my opinion, because some people get a little triggered about that. It's Outlast, but it's not like the first one. It seemed like they tried to turn this into something different. I don't know. It's connected to Outlast 1, of course. Like They, they stated it is, and it's the comics and all of that. But it seemed like this is its own, this is its own little thing. I can't connect it because I haven't finished the game, so if, I'm sorry. I probably don't have a, enough credit to even say stuff like that, but... It seemed like Outlast 2, based off what I've seen, was like Murkoff, of uh, this the, the Asylum in Outlast 1. That was his own Outlast. And now Outlast 2, now you two different characters in your own Outlast story. And Outlast 1 doesn't, doesn't matter anymore. It seemed like a movie. One movie you talk about this, and then the next movie you talk about another character going through something different. But it's the same title, you know? Outlast 1 had this, and then Outlast 3 might be somebody else's story where they're trapped in some kind of mansion, and you gotta get out because they're crazy people in that mansion, like a crazy family, like from Resident Evil 7 stuff. Everyone has their own story, but not connected. It seemed like that's what it could have been playing Outlast 2. Everyone has their own little thing, but never connected to the original, just yeah, little stories. Different stories. Like, telling creepy pastas. Different, like, little, you know, you get what I'm saying. That's what it felt like to me so far because I haven't finished the game and I plan on, you know, finishing the game, but not my playthrough at all. I'm going to be watching another YouTuber do it, um, a non-commentary gameplay or a commentary gameplay and piece the story together like that. And then I'm going to be making a history behind the horror of it. But until I get done with that, I'm going to be releasing a Little Nightmares. Y'all know that game just came out. Um, history behind Little Nightmares thing. And maybe a, a couple more, or I might just hop straight into Outlast right after the Little Nightmares one. Or I might just do the Little Nightmares. I mean, I might just do the Outlast 2 one before the Little Nightmares. But it's all about, it's all around timing. But I'm just making this video to show that Outlast, just to give my opinion that Outlast 2 wasn't really as great as I thought it would be. It seemed like, in my opinion, it was a little overhyped based off the things that I've seen as far as trailers. And they were selling these underwears, the underscares. Where the game was so scary that you might crap yourself. Now, that didn't mean it literally you would crap yourself and like that. But it seemed like they did all of that to keep hyping this game up. But it felt, it, it felt like it fell a little, just a little short from the first Outlast game. See, they tried, they, like I said, they tried to do a lot more because of the success of Outlast 1. So they tried to push it to the extreme. But it didn't really go as far as I thought it would have been. I had bigger expectations for this game since outlast one but this game could have a lot of more antagonists besides martha and sullivan but it's all i've been seeing so far and getting stabbed to death by uh, farmers that's all i keep dying by is farmers farmers and getting spotted in areas that i shouldn't be getting spotted in and things like that so i just wanted to give y'all a video talking about this subject um and letting y'all know that 
where the Outlast 2 videos are because a lot of people have been asking me where these videos are and I'm letting you guys know that I'm still going to be doing them. It was just I'm having a hard time right now with this game and if you like this game, it's all, it's, you know, it's, it's all good. You like it. I'm glad you really did enjoy it because it is a good game. It's just not what I wanted it, what I expected it to be. So, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it and you want to share your thoughts, please put them in the comments. I would love to read anything you guys got to say about the subject. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. As I said, Little Nightmares the Outlast 2. One of those coming up soon. Still got some Resident Evil 7 coming out. Uh, thank you all so, so much for voting for that one. So, Lucas will be coming up next for the ones who stayed as long at the end. And as always, thank you again for watching. And I will see you on the next episode of History Behind the Horror.